This is my uh, four by six horizontal bandsaw, which I use in a vertical position. It's also it also has a ledge, safety ledge, which I use when I move it in a vertical position. Uh, this is the uh, stored position of the saw, but when I work on it, this is its position, and I sit over the switch. This is a small area where I work, not exactly a rolling saw. Cutting is very slow. Uh, this is a 18 ppi blade, used one. I really should change it to a new one. This is where I keep the twist ties at the, at the handle. Now, changing the blade, that's a real pain. I uh, have to use uh, the twist ties to, uh, to fix the blade into, uh, into the rolling bearings and uh, well a new blade a new blade open a new blade careful because this can jump open can hurt. new blade is a 24 tpi blade i was hoping that it will cut faster And the same thing at the uh, bottom, bottom bearings. That that leads the blade. Now twist that there too. Now either another twist tie or another hand. No choice. I did this much easier than I was in my early 70s. Ah, slow. Okay, put it on. Put it on. Tighten it. Tighten it according to feel, knock it into place, use a copper for knock it into place. No, I don't play the guitar. No, that sounds okay. Taking out the ties, keep them for next time. Next time. And the trial run. Oh, looks okay. Close it up. Ready to continue cutting. Well, you see, I have gloves on. Now I'm close to the blade. I learned my lesson in the hard way. I try to cut close to the line. Boy, it's slow, still slow. Cut too close, cut too close, cut too much out, and start at another angle, try to stay as close to the line as possible. 
here uh, I never learned how to how to fold this blade uh, into three. Uh, two Birkins showed us once, tried it a couple of times, succeeded, but that's all. So I just hang them. Here I hang the new blades wherever I can. And this whole thing, changing the blade was for nothing. It's, uh, well, sometimes we succeed, sometimes we don't. That's the way we gain experience.